All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the system of equations m plus n is equal to five and m times n is also equal to five. So obviously these two are two equations and I'm gonna label my first equation equation one and my second equation equation two, just to make the solving easier. So, my first equation is m plus n equals 5. And what I'm going to do is actually rewrite this so I get the value of just one of these variables. So I'll, I, can do, I can choose any one. For the sake of this video, I'm going to choose m. So to get the value of m, I have to get rid of n by subtracting n on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get M is equal to five minus N. So now the reason I did this is because I can substitute this value of M back into my original equation. So if I substitute this back in, I get five minus N times N is equal to five. Now, I can distribute the n. So 5 times n is going to be 5n, and negative n times n is going to be negative n squared. So I have this is equal to 5. And now I can add n squared on both sides and subtract 5n on both sides. And I get n squared minus 5n plus 5 is equal to zero. Now from here, to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 5, and c is positive 5. So I get n is equal to negative of negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to positive 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 times 5, which is 20, all over 2 which is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two. And this can't be simplified anymore. So n is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two, which can be divided into two equations, or sorry, two solutions. n is equal to five plus the square root of five over two and n is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, recall how m plus n is equal to 5. This was equation 1. So now what I can say is that m of 1 plus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 5. Because remember, in a system of, in this particular system of equation, I can have two solutions. So m of 1, there can, there's also an m of 2 because n has two solutions, meaning there's going to be two different solutions for the actual system of equations. So we can say that this is n of 1 and this is n of 2. So for n of 1, respectfully, I get m of 1. So now, to solve this equation, what I'm going to do is subtract 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get m of 1 is equal to 
5 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And I actually have to distribute the negative sign. So I get m of 1 is equal to 5 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And this is the same thing as 10 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 because 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So now from here, 10 minus 5 is just 5. So I get 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And I can say that this is my value for m of 1. And remember how n of 1 is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So my solution, my first solution for the system of equations is 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2, comma, 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is my first solution to the system equations. Now for equation number 2, or sorry, solution number 2, I'm going to use n of 2. So n of 2 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to plug this back into my equation m plus n is equal to 5. So I can say m2 plus n of 2 is equal to 5, and n of 2 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So I have m of 2 plus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 5. Now to solve this, what I'm going to do is subtract 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get m of 2 is equal to 5 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And remember, this is in parentheses. So this is equal to 5 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And again, 5 is the same thing as 10 over 2. So I get 10 over 2 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And subtracting two fractions with the same denominator is equal to but is equal to the numerator subtracting to each other over that denominator. So I get 10 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 10 minus 5 is 5. So I get m of 2 is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Meaning m of 2 comma n of 2 this is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2, comma, 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is my second equation to the system of equations. And let me just write my first solution, m1 comma m2 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 comma 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And notice how these two are just the opposites of each other. m1 comma m2 is 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2, comma 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and m2 comma n2 is 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2, comma 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these just switched order. And it still works out. So these two are my two solutions. All right, so in this video,
I'm going to solve the problem 3,111 squared plus 2,889 squared. So to solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as 3,000 plus 111 squared plus 3,000 minus 111 squared. Now if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So 3,000 plus 111 squared is equal to 3,000 squared plus 2 times 3,000 times 111 plus 111 squared. And now I have this plus 3,000 squared minus 2 times 3,000 times 111 plus 111 squared. So these two, negative 2 times 3,000 times 111 and positive 2 times 3,000 times 111 cancel out. So I'm left with 3,000 squared plus 3,000 squared plus 111 squared plus 111 squared, which is the same thing as 2 times 3,000 squared plus 2 times 111 squared. So now if I factor out 2, I get 2 times 3,000 squared plus 111 squared. Now 3,000 squared is equal to 9 million. And 111 squared, we can actually solve this right here. 111 times 111 it's 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. So I have 2 times 9 million plus 1, 2, 3, 2, 1 which is just 2 times 9 million 100 9 million 12,321 so 2 times this is going to be 18 million 24,642 so this is my solution to this problem now if you haven't already please make sure to leave a like subscribe, and share this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.